devotional thoughts today are actually two very short ones, one from Ecclesiastes and one from 2 Corinthians, because there are two things that people forget, and you read right over to the scripture, and then you forget them. The first one is a great secret of how to stay out of sexual immorality and sexual sin. Ecclesiastes 7, verse 26. I discovered that a seductive woman is a trap more bitter than death. Now notice, a seductive woman. There are women who are just very seductive, and they're going after you guys. And there are men that are very seductive, and they're going after you girls. It said, her passion is a snare. I mean, this woman really likes snack, sex. I mean, forgive me for saying it so bluntly, but this woman really likes sex. And her passion is a snare. And her soft hands all over you are chains. Now listen to the secret. Those who are pleasing to God will escape her. Those who are pleasing to God will escape her. But sinners will be caught in her snare. You know, if you just live a holy life and live a life that's pleasing to God, you're going to find that a lot of these things just never come near your life. I want you just to meditate on that a little bit. You know, there, there was a guy who was talking to me. He said, Pastor, I just don't understand. Every time I get around this lady, she has her hands on me. She's always touching my arm and touching my shoulder and touching my chest. And he said, Pastor, I just don't understand. I said, are you reading your Bible every day? No. Are you praying every day? No. Are you in ministry involved? No. Are you messing around and doing things you shouldn't be doing? Yeah. I said, so you're not living a life that's pleasing to God. I said, if you'll just get your life straightened up, I said, you're going to find a lot of this stuff just never happens to you. Now, the second little short thought is the forgotten truth about a generous heart. In 2 Corinthians 8, verse 1 and 2, Paul said, I want you to know, dear brothers and sisters, what God in his kindness has done through the churches in Macedonia. They are being tested with many troubles, and they are very poor. But they are also filled with abundant joy, which has overflowed in rich generosity. Have you ever noticed that you never find an angry, generous person? You never find a bitter, generous person? You never find a, a mean, generous person? Have you ever noticed that people who are generous are happy people? See, joy is a great component of generosity. Now, let me say that again. Joy is a great component of generosity. Some of you, forgive me, but straight up talk, the reason you're so stingy is you need God to fill you with all joy. You need, you need to come to the presence of God in which there is fullness of joy. And you need to let God fill you with joy. And when your heart is filled with joy, you're generous with your asawa. You're generous with your children. You're generous with your family. You're generous with your friends. You're generous with God. Generosity just flows out of you. Joy is often the missing ingredient. You've got all the head knowledge, but you're just so stingy. Okay, You're just so stingy with everybody around you. Let God fill you with joy and watch the generosity flow.